pardon the mess here, just kind of a temporary setup that I did, but here's one of those Z-Wave appliance modules. I have a little adapter and a 12 volt wall wart plugged in, and that module is actually controlled by a little home automation controller. I have a Vera Lite. It's a little uh, Unix-based home automation controller. Let's go and see what that wire, that little wire coming out of there, we'll see what that's plugged into. So I plug that 12 volt wire into this little headlight relay. 12 volts goes to the coil. I think that's 85 and 86 terminals. And then I have the 30 and 87 terminals. 30 comes from the battery positive. 87 goes out this heavy 10 gauge wire there, out the top. And let's go see what that hooks to. Yeah, so here's my little DC boost converter. I put a little Dean's connector on the input and you can see the little red lights on that says it's getting power. And I've set the voltage to 38.5 volts, which matches one of my solar panels. And I've set the current to about four amps. And then I've got the output wired into a little watt meter. And you can see it's reading just about four amps output. We're about 29 volts, 112 watts. And it hooks to a grid tie inverter. It's off camera, it's in a different location. I just have the wire run out here temporarily. But this is basically pumping in 112 watts on top of what a 270 watt panel is pumping in. So you can combine things in parallel. That's why the voltage is down a little. I had the open circuit set to 38 and a half, but you can see the inverter has actually pulled the output voltage down. So that's kind of neat. That is a virtual solar panel and it's computer controlled. I can turn it on and off. Yeah, so right there, my virtual solar panel is running, 112 watts. I just click a button. I just turn the sun off. And you can see the panel that's up there drop down to like 28.7 volts. And I can turn my panel back on. It ramps up. 112. So now I've got a virtual solar panel that can be turned on and off anytime I want and whatever I hook it to I can pull current out of and if I have that meter plugged in I can record amp hours. Yeah there you go 15.8 amp hours 455 watt hours and I could just record how much amp hours I pull out of a battery and that could be my load test. Let me take a look at the my heat gun here. About 135, 54 degrees, 56 degrees C. That shows if I can get that in the frame there. So the inductor gets kind of warm and the heat sink in back is about equally as warm. So I could probably use a little fan cooling as I'm at uh, 9 amps input. Hopefully you found that interesting. If you have any comments or questions, put that in the comments section below or on Google+. I'll put a link to my solar power playlist up in the upper right corner of the video. And as always, thanks for watching.